because there is another returning player to this team that a lot of eyes and attention were on last year, and they will be right back on him this year. I'm talking about Jordan Poole. We saw two different versions of Jordan. We saw Jordan pre-Brian Keefe, Jordan post-Brian Keefe. Now when you're looking at the, the numbers alone, you can see the difference between what he was able to do after being substituted into the bench rotation. Remember, the latter part of the season came back in due to Tyus being out. But if you look at the productivity, the numbers and points go up. Field goal percentage goes up. Same thing with threes. Everything trends north minus that assist. I see that assist. Game. Yeah, you, you, one tenth of a point, Jordan Poole. We'll talk about that. But you see that everything trends upward. And when you're looking at players being in the position that they most are comfortable in, I think that's one of the biggest assets that Brian Keith brings to this team, Chase. Putting people People in the position to be successful that's what creates guys living and flourishing into their best yeah I think they learned a lot about Jordan Poole last year and what he's best at because mm -hmm. if you look at his time in Golden State and the position breakdown he was pretty evenly split as a combo guard he played a lot of point guard but he also played a lot of shooting guard it was obviously a very unique situation for any guard because you were with Steph Curry and Klay Thompson the best backcourt of all time but guys change their, their careers their, their games change as their careers go on and sometimes you see guys who play off the ball become better and better at playing on the ball because they get, you know, they, they get a, a tighter handle. They, they get better and just more comfortable against NBA defenses. And I think that's what's happened with Jordan Poole. So right now he's more comfortable playing on the ball. I think it will be interesting again to see how they strike that balance because while he is comfortable as the primary ball handler, they do want to have multiple ball handlers on the court at the same time. And he might be out there with other combo guards his size like Malcolm Brogdon and Bub Carey. And having that consistency, being able to be the primary ball handler for 82 games in a season, I asked him about that yesterday at Media Day, like how is that going to impact your efficiency this year? He waited for a second, and then he said tremendously. He said he <laughs> flourished in that role for the first five years of his career. No reason to expect that won't happen this year again.